Can you see the Rubik's Cube? No, it doesn't have space for the Rubik's Cube. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia. Today is an exciting one because we are going to Go to Zanzibar. We're gonna to go to Zanzibar and more specifically, we're gonna be staying in a nice hotel on the beachfront in Stone Town. This was quite a last minute trip. We decided to do it yesterday. My mom booked the ferry tickets and it is about 8.30 right now. We are waiting for the Uber. That's gonna take us to the port. You can fly there, but we are taking a ferry this time just because it was so last minute and it's quicker to just like book a ferry and cheaper. The last time I was on this ferry was when I was in grade six and we went on a field trip to Zanzibar. I don't remember it as a bad experience but I know people have like mixed experiences going on the ferry but to be honest we're just excited that we're doing something. It is Easter weekend and because my dad is not at work on Monday we decided to quickly do something even though it's only two days at least it's just some time together and we're gonna go explore Stone Town. Hopefully go walk along the beach, go into some of the souvenir shops, get something for my friends back home in England and hopefully it's gonna be a good trip. Ale, what are your thoughts and feelings? Um, I'm kind of excited. What are you excited for? Just like everything. I mean, it's my first time going to Zanzibar for like one day. Also, like obviously we live in Tanzania, so Zanzibar is not that far. So it's much easier for us to go to Zanzibar, which is why we can make these decisions so last minute because it's not like we're doing an hours and hours on an airplane. It's like, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, something like that. He has also gone to Zanzibar sailing from like Dar es Salaam, which is the city that we live in, all the way to Zanzibar, which takes again another, how long? Three hours. Yeah, so it's not super far away and we're very lucky and we're excited. Just feeling anxious. Get motion sickness. Oh. Take on my Diamox. I should be okay. And have you brought your vomit bag? Yes. Yes, she has. My grandparents moved from India to Zanzibar. My dad was born in Zanzibar and his siblings were born in Zanzibar and brought up in Zanzibar. And during the revolution in Zanzibar, they all moved to Dar es Salaam. So going to Zanzibar, sometimes it's also a trip down memory lane because we go and see where they used to live and where they what, were born. Where they were born and how does the building look now. Okay, we don't want to miss the ferry, so let's go. actually quite nice the only thing i will say is that i am absolutely freezing like me and my sister are using a towel to keep ourselves warm we're about an hour into the journey i think we have about half an hour 45 minutes left to be honest it is raining right now which is obviously not great however it is getting a little bit sunnier that's what it looks like outside right now It's so so pretty. The rooms aren't ready yet though So what we're doing is we're putting some of our bags in the storage and we're gonna go walk around a little bit I went there. to this restaurant yeah. We were gonna go eat there, but then we're like... Check, look the location. It's far. It's the other side. Near Padre. Okay, we're trying to oh, look for a place to far. eat. Mom, have you found anything? Yeah, I'm looking at the rock and see how far it is. It's far. It was near Padre. It's not. It was like a half hour. It's one and a half hour. Okay, right. so... I need to take a boat. <laughs> Okay, so now we're literally just exploring. What is this called? The promenade. 
had no idea. It's called it's called beach house. the beach <laughs> the beach house. Um, we have been here before and it was actually quite good. It's not that many people here. I think it is because it is Ramadan, so maybe there's not many people traveling at this time of the year. But we've just sat at the bar and we've all ordered mojitos, including this boy here. And then there's my dad with his beer. Kilimanjaro <laughs> Ale, how was the food? The uh, food was good. I think I ate too much though. And I'm gonna eat some <laughs> ice cream. Different things that happen in schemes and packaging. In our one night for shows and juggling. Flow like the ocean, my port and paddling. Shout out to Nobella, that's my bro, my family. Rose and trees. When it comes to money, I take concentrate. We got tell you straight, you are not my bitch. If you become a shame, I'll be head of state. From the people, then go say, I know one time. I know one time. I know one time. This place is not for the week. Wow! This room? Really nice! Oh. I think you want that one. This is my one then. Thank you. Some construction going on. Right, people! We have now gotten to our rooms. We are staying at the Mzingani, something like that, Seafront Hotel. I'll put the name up here just because I might be getting that wrong. We have a one room, which is the three of us in one room. So me, my sister, and my brother. And then my parents are in a double room, but I think they have like twin beds. So like, it's a room of two, but they're separated. As with all of my vlogs, it's time to do a little room tour. We have our three beds over here. Dressing table, little sit down area, a cupboard with a safe. Another thing I just realized is these light fixtures have these paintings on it and these paintings are actually called Tinga Tinga paintings so this is just the style of painting that is done in East Africa. And lastly, the bathroom. And probably one of the best parts of this room is the swimming pool view and then the view of some of the buildings. Right. I've got my swimsuit on because I want to go in the pool for a little bit. My sister is fast asleep over there. My brother is chilling over there. Hopefully I don't get lost because I got lost and very out of breath coming upstairs. So let's see how this goes. Bye. Bye. Love ya. Love you too. Telling me his idea of a floating swimming pool yeah. in the ocean. Yeah. And because you're a genius. Sounds stupid, but yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> me and my dad, we came up here to see the really pretty sunset. Definitely did not disappoint. Since we're only here for one night, I really did want to see the sunset because I haven't seen a proper sunset with the ocean, with the Indian Ocean for that matter, for a good six to seven months. And the past six to seven months have been quite hectic if i do say so myself so it was just really nice to get back and to just see a little bit of the prettiness of home i have changed my outfit after i showered i think the plan for today is to go out to eat that's all we pretty much seem to be doing these days there's a really popular food market that's like down the road that way which is quite good like i've been there once i didn't really
right the lighting is not great here whatsoever but i think there has been a change of plans i'm just putting my shoes on basically my grandpa he grew up in zanzibar and he just warned my mother just maybe not to eat the market food unless it's like cooked fresh in front of you so that's like stuff like eggs or i always get a crepe with nutella on it so things that like you can see are being cooked on heat in front of you and like are only cooked once that's fine the things like meat they can cook it and then if whatever just doesn't get sold they'll just pack it and then the next day they'll just reheat it up basically but then you don't know that so you think that it's fresh but it's actually not fresh and you can get really ill fun fact the last time i came to zanzibar actually i got food poisoning from i'm pretty sure it was the chicken wonton soup that i had at one of the hotels that we were staying at it was so bad that my mom had to call the doctor from the hospital to come to our hotel room because i literally could not move and i was put on drips in the hotel room and the drip like fluid was hanging on the mosquito net bar so if i have learned anything about eating in zanzibar is be careful because food poisoning ain't great at all because of that i think we might be going to one of the restaurants we'll still be passing by the food market so i'll show you like a little glimpse of it but i don't think we're eating there however i do want to get a nutella crepe on my way back I think I am gonna do that. There is Cape Town Fish Market, which is quite a nice restaurant that is here. And there's also another branch in Dar es Salaam, which is the city I live in, in the mainland, Tanzania, which is really good. I don't know if that's the vibe for tonight. It might be, it might not be. This is my outfit. I'm wearing these trousers, the same shoes I was wearing, and then just an oversized black top. If you haven't been to Tanzania and you want to in the future, another thing to remember is that it's a Muslim country. So you don't have to be like completely covered up like to your wrists and ankles, but it's good to not show too much skin like unnecessarily if you know what i mean just you'll feel more comfortable people won't come up to you and speak to you as much which makes me feel a lot less stressed when i'm walking along the street so that's just a tip for you and my family is waiting downstairs so i'm gonna go quickly now we're back at the hotel for the night that's the end of day one we're only here for two days so all we have tomorrow is just walking around probably i want to get my henna done but that's all for day one morning and welcome to the second and unfortunately last day of us in stone town just finished breakfast at the hotel it's quite good i think we're gonna go walk around again now but if you do henna maybe yeah we might go get henna i want some henna like up here and then like down it's 10 a.m right now and we have our ferry back at 3 15 and then some of us are also going at the ferry at 4 so we have a good amount of time the only thing we can really do is like walk around a bit more go into some shops and just enjoy for the last few hours before we have to go back home 
now you will see I will open all the bundles down here. Which one is the other side? Uh, I told you, all the bundles down here. Look at that form. <laughs> he looked like a Roman emperor, like me. Protect my camera at all costs. Well, when I'm this bad, there's nothing to <laughs> protect it from. <laughs> I'm inside a shop right now, but my grandpa was born in this very building and he lived here for many years of his life and now it's turned into a hotel, I think. This is the aftermath of walking in Stone Town after it has been raining and you're walking all in mud. Mommy, you told me to wear these white trousers. I didn't know it is going to rain and I didn't know that we were going to be walking in streets full of dirty water. But I think it's because I'm sure these trousers are long and then when I'm walking, the shoe is touching this part. 